In chemical reactions, sets of compounds interact with each other to form new compounds. Chemists use equations to describe these interactions. Like mathematical equations, chemical equations conform to a set of rules. This allows equations to provide detailed information about reactions. A chemical equation can be thought of as a recipe for making a set of chemical compounds using other compounds as starting material. A properly formed chemical equation contains the molecules transformed by the reaction on the left side of the equation. These are the reactants. The molecules formed by the reaction on the right side of the equation. These are the products. An arrow separates reactants from products. In reactions with more than one reactant or product, plus signs separate the individual products and reactants from each other. Numbers in front of each compound specify how many moles of each is required to convert all of the reactants to products. In order to be a complete, properly written, balanced equation, the number of atoms of each element present in the reactants needs to equal the number present in the products. The process of determining the proper number of each compound is called balancing the equation. The chemical equation for the combustion of hydrocarbons, such as ethanol or propane, followed the general structure of hydrocarbon plus oxygen converts to water and carbon dioxide. The hydrocarbon and oxygen are reactants, water and carbon dioxide are products. For an equation showing the combustion of a hydrocarbon to be balanced, the number of carbon atoms in the reactants must equal the number in the products. The number of hydrogen atoms in the reactants must equal the number of hydrogens in the products. And the same for oxygen. The process of balancing an equation can be shown using the combustion of ethanol as an example. To step into this, we can determine how many moles of carbon dioxide and water are produced when one mole of ethanol is combined with oxygen. Once this is known, the number of moles of oxygen needed to complete the equation can be found. An ethanol molecule contains six hydrogen and two carbon atoms. A carbon dioxide molecule contains one carbon atom, so converting all of the carbon in ethanol to carbon dioxide produces two molecules of carbon dioxide. Water molecules contain two hydrogen atoms each, so the six hydrogens in ethanol are incorporated into three water molecules. There are now the same number of carbon and hydrogen atoms on either side of the equation. Of course, the addition of water and carbon dioxide as products added oxygen atoms. And there are now too many oxygen atoms on the product side of the equation, so oxygen molecules need to be added as reactants to provide the atoms present in the products. Before the addition of any oxygen molecules, there are seven oxygen atoms in the products and one in the reactant, which means six more need to be added. Since there are two oxygen atoms in each molecule of oxygen, three molecules will provide the number of oxygen atoms needed to balance the equation. The final equation is one ethanol molecule combines with three oxygen molecules to produce three waters and two carbon dioxides.